Hello and welcome back to Pillars of Eternity. I've brought some hirelings for us. Yeah. I think about us resolving this. You have accrued a debt due to the match of the strong rule. You won't receive any income from taxes until it's paid. Okay. Oh. self curtain wall was destroyed, barracks was destroyed. Never again will I do that this way. <laughs> Always resolve them manually. But we are done with the with the heritage here. At least for now. So let's go back and report what we have done. And then uh, we will go look for the thief. All I know is that we are supposed to look for a thief. Right? That's still a scroll. So we will do that. There! That's the nice lady who helped me! And thank the iron arm for it! We'll get you sorted out at the keep. The tower is off! Does this mean the curse on Heritage Hill is lifted? It wasn't a curse, but yeah, the district is safe again. I think it will be some time before anyone will be willing to settle in the district again. But at least we can get started on restoring it. We could have spared the knights in the mausoleum. Yep, I believe so. Mm, this isn't the one. A e... no, no, this the last. Uh, Clever asked me to move in Vienna. Uh, Clever said that the she lives in the dormitory, but no, but the novitiate has been able to find her. Okay, let's go to the. Dormitory, I think. Yeah. Let's do that. Because frankly, I don't remember who gave us this quest. I think the one from the knights, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's also here. Ducal Palace, Valiant Embassy, and this is not the place I was looking for, so there's that. Oh, will he be here still? Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Over here, yeah. Oh, you're here. Sayla looks like she has a bath and a few square meals. She smiles shyly. Any news from Heritage Hill? Your guards were charmed by the spirit of a woman named Lyra. I've gotten rid of her. Her tired eyes grow round. By the flame, you found her. My missing commander. She heaves a sigh and loses her gaze among the floor tiles, and she was calling to the watch from beyond the grave. It doesn't make sense, but nothing in that accursed district does. What happened to the soldiers under her spell? They didn't make it. I see. Nevertheless, thank you for your help. You've left me with um, as many questions as answers, but at least I know what happened to my troops and Commander Lara. Please, accept this as a token of my gratitude. If there's nothing else, I must attend to my duties. 
well. Mm, oh, Riff of Ashes. In the Valen Republic of Palminia, a military graveyard has been struck by vandals that burn tributes left for the dead. Though traveling to the Dacess, uh, she has few recourses to deal with the problem. As the Republic will soon be celebrating the 15th, uh, 15th uh, anniversary of the Battle of Lake on Pirella, the Dacess would like to have the mystery solved quickly and quietly. Eh, sure. What else do we have? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, 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 no. Where is it? Oh, there it is. I think. No. Um, path to their fort. So let's do this. I need at least one more level up because, as I remember, we there was from the uh, chest could have, could be open starting from seven mechanics, and I think we have. Oh, we have six, yeah. They're for the village, so wooden planes it is! Yeah, this thing we have sorted out entirely. Uh, actually, what happens if... I would like to go down here, but that now that we don't have our ranger, let's not do that. Because I think the cliff will be that way. Or maybe he'll be here. Also looks like a cliff. Oh, it's raining. Mm -hmm. Feral druid, okay, great. Um, if you don't mind, fireball on you. Mm, oh, yeah. Okay, so... Um, thank you. So I select the area for fireball, okay. Oh, um, you do your thing. I have no idea what's happening. Um, I shouldn't do that. Oh, I'm gonna die. Or not. Okay, let's stick to the main road. Um, no, I don't think you need to restore your endurance, you need to restore your health. 
I'm here. I honestly want to see if that will work. Yeah, it did. Oh, that's great. Endurance, you also do that. This looks like a path as well. So we don't have to rest some uh, as often as I thought. Of you keep on shooting. Really. Oh, they're all dead now. Can we start getting more charges on the cure wounds ability? Please, because as just as I said that we don't have to rest as often, we have to rest. Let's walk around this place. Let's, yeah. We're already here. Hmm? Nope. Okay. Um. Go down here. Seems like there is something. Samarians? What? Yeah, they do hate him. Yes. You do this, you do this. I think they are standing in something. Okay, now please everyone walk away from the poison or whatever that is. This is not no not worth for interest. You look sus very suspicious, you know that. Oh The bright sun casts its light on a pattern in the ground. You kneel to get a better look. The stone here has been carved with a few simple shapes. A small circle of indentation marks the center, and a much larger circle surrounds it. You see what appears to be writing above the two circles. The writing first. The carving. Twisting runes are strangely familiar to you. You recognize them as ancient Anguifian. They read, All things end only to continue anew. Enter now at dusk. That we may all experience a new dawn. Wait a while. You wait for a few hours, marking, make, marking the sun's journey across the sky. You got an indentation. The indentation is shallow and smooth. It looks like it was indented to hold something specific. Several shapes have been carved along the outer ring, though most have been worn away. You can make out the crescent above the center. You wait for a few hours watching as the stars wink and glow overhead. Hmm. 
Okay, so we do need something for this place. It was worth a try to just wait over it. Is it marked? Yes, it is. I do remember that I told you that we have to get to cooking. Oh, hello? Drawing on a piece of uncooked meat, a small orlan dressed in tattered leathers offers a mumbled greeting and waves his hand. Despite his pleasant smile, the upper right portion of his face is a sort of state. An eye patch stitched with a stylized eyeball wraps around his head, he, and his ear is mangled remnant that twitches in spasm while the other ear perks up at your approach. Next to him is a displayed carcass of a deer that appears ripped open by a bear or wolf. If this is your deer, you need a new game warden. Name's Herobius. Hungry? I can't eat all this. First catch of the day, help yourself. What killed that deer? One ornery Stelgar. Though looking at the deer's insides, it had a malformed but delicious heart. And would have been dead within the year regardless. Galloway chose a fitting end for this fine animal. Pardon me, I shouldn't pray with my mouth full. What brings you here? Other than the delicious venison, new trees to document, new animals to sketch, new sights to be seen. I've learned as much as I can from the druids of my circle. I'd rather wander and learn than take root and stagnate. So if you're traveling the Deerwood and need another set of hands, I'd welcome the safety of a group. A druid's assistance will be welcome. I'm trained by the celebrants of Hawk and Ivy of the Fisher Crane tribe. I know more than my share of nature magic, and, well, I don't shy away from a good fight. I have business with the druids that live near Twin Elms. So long as we find ourselves there eventually, I'm happy to follow along. You're welcome to join us. Splendid! It'll be an honor to run with a pack for a change. Great, and with that we have full party once again. I'll give you lots of survival, if possible. Let's see, what do we have here? I see you are using pole arm. Well, you really have one ear. Um, pole axe. Is that a pole axe? Well, I think it will be fine. More survival. Oh, maybe I should also give him a little bit of athlet athletics. I don't know how much health he has. Um, bonus first level spell? Sure. A bunch of level ups to do. Another one that has tons of levels. On a second level spell, yep. Yep. Yes, is it a bull axe or not? Fine spear. Hmm. All right, then. Still... I don't want to stick to the, the weapons they start with. That's why we are going to. We have to buy ourselves a right new morning star. Okay, we definitely don't go that way. Oh, I don't know why, but there's something wrong with my scroll. It keeps working on its own. Of the different village? There, yeah, I think so. We didn't find the thief. Hmm. So, Kana, what do folks in Rawatai do for fun? Aside from each other, do you just gape at every shiny object that comes along? Or is that just what you do when abroad? Tokoa may be more traditional. But it has its share of festivals. Drink a little wine, find someone to dance with. Wine and dancing? Oh, guess I had it all wrong. So no shark races and undersea orgies? No, that's all true. 
Not that I sold it, I guess. Let's see. Cowman, boar companion. You have a name. Great. An elf idles by the road, watching the village across the river. He knows as you approach, and a cowed figure standing near him falls silent. Gods keep you. Greetings, friend. A slow smile forms as he eyes you. I've heard of you. Word has it you've been busy in the Fines Bay. He draws closer. I'm busy too. And eager to finish my business and get back to the city. Um, when, what business is that? Haven't you heard? There's a murderer on the loose. Said to have gone mild with grief and strangled a dozen healthy children when her own was hollow born. He nods at the figures with him. We've come all the way from Defiance Bay to bring her to justice. She's here. He nods across the river. She's she's hiding out in the village. We'd go in after her ourselves. But the problem is, she knows our faces. There's no telling what she'll do if she saw us coming. And we'd like to avoid any further unnecessary bloodshed. He leans closer. Her name's Nifre. She's an Orla. We want to get her out of town so that we can deal with her cleanly. She knows we're looking for her. But if someone were to convince her that it's safe to leave... If she's a mass murderer, why didn't the Duck send the Crucible Knights after her? The powers that be that they want to keep things quiet. For obvious reasons. Better not to cause a fuss and certainly better not to startle her into doing something drastic. I could draw her out. He nods. She won't know you. It will be simple. I, I do have a couple of questions. Okay, never mind. We don't want that. But of course, first I wanna look around this place. I'm looking for teeth myself. Some more backers. Or actually, let's get to crafting, shall we? Let's see how, what can we do? We can do scrolls, we can do scroll of paralysis, apparently. Uh, a lot of scrolls, but I would like to check out some potions. Potion of major endurance. Ooh. Yep. Potion of flame shield. Uh, plus 10 damage reduction for 45 seconds. Ooh. Yeah. Potion of bearing death's door. Prevent death for 20 seconds. Yes. Portion of Lake Ruff's displaced image now. Alacrity motion. What the? Oh. Portion of power out that we have. Of iron skin. Until hit or critically hit. Huh. Oh, there's food. Stew. Mm. I would like to check for some that are the longest. 300 seconds, 300 seconds, 300 seconds. Okay, mm -hmm. because I also want to get rid of some of our stuff. So, mm, now trying to figure out how to split it. I'm honestly trying to split it. I have no idea. Okay, you have five. Apparently you have five. Claim shield. That's for you. Mm. Major endurance I'll give to you. I'll give you some farmer speed. I'll give myself some food. I'll give you some food. Talk to Beard more, okay? 
flame stones amidst scattered offerings. Keys, coins, and the tiny skulls of birds and mice are mired in the melted and hardened wax. wax. Out with you! I already told you what. I'm sorry. I thought you were one of those ruffians. Okay, let's start again. Hello? Someone has put this priest to the test, but not one nearly difficult enough, by my measure. An amateur's work. How may I help you? What happened to you? I never saw their faces. Strange hooded men asking about those ruins. Cleobon Relog. Most of the brigands who come through here asking about the ruins are looking for a few ancient trinkets. But these people knew the name, and they were in a hurry. They wanted to know where Cleobon Relog was. I tried to keep it from them, but I couldn't hold out forever. I don't know what they were up to, but it can't be good. Olaf looks at you, frowning. That does sound like the Leiden Key, doesn't it? The old priest nods politely. Is there anything else I can help you with? Can you tell me where to find the ruins? The Glanfarben tribe that guards the ruins will kill anyone who trespasses there. And they'll retaliate against us too. History is any indication. We've had too many fortune seekers stir up trouble of late. If I'm to tell you, I'll need to know your reason for wanting to go. He folds his arms and stares at you with one eye and a scowl. So, this is where I say, go into the ruins and I'll kill you. And that's when you say, here are this. I'm a watcher and you're a no match for all of us and we've got a good reason for this. And then I give up trying to argue with you and leave you to dig your own trespasser's grave. <sighs> and I'm only being half metaphoric. We sometimes make the rodents dig your own grave before we kill you. When the kids hear about this, a fabulous deterrent. <laughs> A dangerous plot is unfolding here. I've got to stop it. If that's the case, then we may already have trouble headed our way. I'll have to take you at your word. You'll find Cleobon Relog here. Whatever trouble you find there, please end it quietly and try to stay out of the ruins. Tell me more about their fort. Folk here tend to keep to themselves, as they do in most towns as they've been in their wood. They're, no, they're suspicious of travelers, but with all the brigands and the refugees moving through the area, who can blame them? This is a temple of Berath. How can you... What can you tell me about Berath? Berath is the most universal, universal of all the gods. It oversees portals and cycles of all kinds, even life and death itself. Under Berav, an ending is merely a passage to another beginning. Berav has many representations across time and across cultures. Around their root, you'll commonly see it depicted as the Pallid Knight or the Usher. The Glenfotons, however, know it as Benwen, I Anku, and Anku I Benwen. Tell me about the Pallid Knight. She is one of the youngest manifestations of Berav, but a familiar one nonetheless. Stories describe her as a gold knight in black armor with black eyes, black hair, and a milk pale skin. She demands an impossible toll from travelers who have tarried too long on her lord's road. Some challenge her only to slay themselves in the process. Who is the Usher? Kith have written stories, songs, and poems about the Usher for centuries. Sometimes his folk, sometimes dwarf, and sometimes merely a walking skeleton. He never speaks, but he guides the way to death, and the next life. He also creates the circumstances for the wayward to stumble into their own graves. I never heard of Benwen i Aknu and Aknu i Benwen. It means life and death, and death in life, respectively. You see them as two skeletal figures, one male and one female. Explorers have found them carved opposite on one another in doorways, but I know of no particular legends that speak of them. Thank you. Of course, Barat was once more widely worshipped in this area, but it is a silent girl. He smiles sadly. 
these days people find themselves in need of clear answers oh well uh, i honestly i hired some folks uh, not fox uh, folks to guard my keep and in the process i keep losing gold i swear Mm -hmm. What are you guys doing? Work! Guard the keep! God damn it! The mill slowly grinds away at the fruit of grain. That sounds poetic. Oh, damn cow ain't for monsters like that. And damn, there's the gods too. A man paces angrily in front of a wrecked animal pen, his sun weathered face twisted with ire. He's so wrapped up in his fury that he doesn't seem to notice you. Cowboy stubborn beasts blazing bloody effigy tries them salting rent in his socket. What's wrong? That monster stole my pigs, trips into the village, tore my, down my pen and made off with the whole damned herd. You left a, just a few little rats and what am I supposed to do with them? What are you talking about? An ogre moved into the area not long ago. Folk had been seeing glimpses and tracks out in the wood, but it seemed to be staying away from town. Or so we all fought until it made off with my pigs. Now everyone's afraid it's going to develop a taste for kiff. If it hasn't already. Did you see the ogre take your pigs? What else would have destroyed my pen and made over my herd? And at the same time, the rest of the village is seeing a 10-foot monster in the forest. I know it's too late to get my pigs back, but I would set my mind at ease to see that things had shore, shore from its neck. In fact, you bring its ugly pig to me and I'll trade you for something that's of less use to a farmer like me than to a rowdy looking sort like yourself. What do you know about the ogre? I guess they don't have... Those where you come from, do they? <sighs> it's the same as any other, I'm sure. A big, ugly son of a bitch with a nasty temper and an appetite to match. Trigger could tell you more. He claims to have seen it in the wood. You can find him in his shop, right by the broken tower. Need anything else? Well, I've been looking for to find an Orland named Nifra. Know where she is? Never heard of her. Okay, thank you. Asshole. Interesting. Okay, I'm fairly sure that does not work. I mean, my mod, I don't think it works, or we were too far away because it looked fairly obvious. I want to check it out. On the hunt. Mm -mm. Margaret's fire cast light. I will <laughs> I will be now crouching your every crate possible. I shall be discreet. Okay. But I'm gonna end this part here. So for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye.